Sichuan Xiang is the most authentic Sichuan restaurant in Manila today, making waves among serious foodies and of course the local Chinese expats which make up the majority of its clientele. Sichuan cuisine, also known as Chuan cuisine, is a style of Chinese cuisine originating from Sichuan province in southwestern China. It has bold and intense flavors, particularly the pungency and spiciness resulting from liberal use of garlic and chili peppers, as well as the unique flavor of the Sichuan pepper. Did you know UNESCO declared Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan province, to be a city of gastronomy in 2011 to recognize the sophistication of its cooking? This bi-level 50-seater restaurant was opened in October 2014 by Tony Wang, who is from Sichuan province in China, and graduated with a hotel and restaurant management degree, but decided to set up his first restaurant in Manila at the A Venue Mall in Makati. Aside from recruiting two Chinese chefs, Tony imports the majority of his ingredients, including dried red chilies, peppercorns, spices, and oils directly from China to ensure the authenticity of his food. The common perception that most Sichuan dishes are spicy is true, although a typical meal includes non-spicy dishes to cool the palate. Sichuan cuisine is composed of seven basic flavors, sour, pungent, hot, sweet, bitter, aromatic, and salty, and uses a variety of different cooking methods including sautéing, stir-frying without steaming, dry braising, soaking in water, or frying and then braising with corn flour sauce. As you are seated, you will be graciously welcomed with complimentary hot tea and peanuts. Their gorgeously designed menu is quite extensive with over 50 appetizers, soups, vegetarian dishes, and entrees to choose from. And each has a spiciness rating ranging from 0 to 5 which you can adjust to your specifications. We had quite a few dishes with a maximum chili indicator just like this highly recommended Chuan Xiang boiled fish with spicy sauce and it was manageable, not numbingly spicy, but of course that would depend on your tolerance. Guys, I'm so excited. Our first few dishes arrived. We have the Chuan Xiang boiled fish and chili as well as the uh, beef noodle soup. So this is a Sichuan restaurant. Everything is spicy. Everything is swimming in oil. Look at this. Chili. Okay, let's get started. Guys and gals. Okay, bro. Ready? Huh? I'll get you some of this fish. Oh, wait. Okay. Make sure it's drained. Too much, too much, too much. That's it. Okay, thank you. Okay? Maybe it's better. On top of the rice? Yes, no problem. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No problem. Okay, might spill. Oh, yeah. Might spill. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, babe. There's a noodle there too. Okay. Thank you. So this is, uh, right. you gotta make sure to... One important thing to know about Sichuan cuisine is there are these small little spices. You can't eat those. Those will completely numb your tongue and you won't be able to taste anything after. So you gotta make sure it's properly on its own. Wow, the fish practically melts in your mouth. I love the spices. This is supposed to be one of their signature dishes here. Delicious. These shrimps are spectacular. Perfectly cooked, crispy, ultra flavorful. Oh my god. This is my favorite dish so far.
So another signature dish they have here are their century eggs, which they import directly from Sichuan province in China. Now if you notice, they're not black. Let's try one of these. Mm. The texture is very similar to the regular century egg, but I really like the, the sauce that it's in. It's very nice, gotta try this. But for Sana's about to have her favorite eggplant. Yep. Yes, my favorite vegetable. Ah, uh, As I said, I love eggplant to begin with, so I totally enjoy even first bite. But I never tried eggplant in Sichuan sauce. It's not as spicy, but it's so flavorful. It has some minced pork and a lot, a very generous um, serving of garlic on the top. So totally flavorful, I'm enjoying so much. And most important, spicy level is not as high. Cheers! While they may serve fried rice, we would recommend ordering plain white rice to fully appreciate these savory dishes. So it's our first time to try snow beer from China. It's actually uh, stronger than the usual Tsingtao beer, which is only 4%. This one is 4.1%, but apparently it's supposed to have a lighter taste. So let's test it out. Yeah, it's not as heavy as Tsingtao and it's quite refreshing. So cheers. We just had a memorable meal here. It was truly fantastic. And now we're gonna have some digestif. We're having a Uliang Ye rice wine from China, which is 52%. Okay, guys, let's do it. Here you go. Here's the Tony. Toasting an awesome meal. Here. 
Cheers. Hmm. It's very aromatic and it's quite powerful. You can really taste all those flavors. It's potent as well. But I like it. It's actually uh, has a nice warm feeling in your throat. What do you think? It's like candy, yes, that's right. It's like bananas or something. Something, yeah. <laughs> it's like bananas. Yeah, what do you think? Nice taste. Nice. Super. Okay, round two. What the? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, this is different. This smells like rice wine. Yes, this one seems more like sake like, in terms of like scent. But okay. it's still small. Okay. Kampai. 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 Nothing special. So, smooth. This one is lighter. Yeah. This one is a lot lighter. Easier to handle, but you lack all those flavors. But both very nice after a meal. Okay, well, after those shots, I'm now going to have some chrysanthemum tea. I never tried this brand before. But it's nice. It's kind of like a mix between chrysanthemum tea and Yakult. And if you look at the color, it's a little bit cloudy. It's very nice. Another iconic Japanese restaurant chain has just arrived in Manila, Kushikatsu Daruma, which pioneered serving deep-fried skewered meats and vegetables in Osaka in 1929 through its founder, Momono Yoshi. His humble food stall was a huge hit, as his pricing was affordable and he made sure his ingredients were always fresh and prepared with his signature bread flour combined with his perfect dipping sauce. To this day, the restaurant in Dotombori is usually packed with local